Hello, this is Fred from Online Marketing Dojo, and today's video is to show you the five reasons why you want to own your own website versus having something on the many free, quote unquote, uh, blog platforms out there. Now, reason number one why having your own site is important is you have increased functionality when you have the platform that you can work with, you can do whatever you want to do with. Uh, so when it comes down to making a site more SEO friendly for better positioning for uh, search engine optimization, um, if you want to add advertising, if you want to connect a lot of different social media elements, all kind of different things. There's a lot more functionality when you have your own site versus kind of the pre-packaged set of templates that you get from the free blogging sites. And the other reason is you have better design options. Now, some of the free site platforms give you some pretty cool looks uh, for you to get started with. But if you wanted to go a step beyond that and add in certain design functionality or certain design elements there's not a whole lot of room for you to create a lot of that on those platforms because they're pretty cut and paste uh, stamped out templates that uh, that they give you to work with now the next thing is that with your own website you are actually building an asset an asset that's going to have a lot more value because you have complete control over it that you can sell to other people, that you can lease it out to other people or other businesses or what have you. Uh, so you have a much greater level of flexibility when it comes down to what you can do because it's yours. You know, analogy for that would be if you look at someone who rents a house versus own a house. Now, it could be very similar houses. Some of the functionality may be the same between the houses. However, if the person renting the house wants to paint their uh, uh, house uh, on the inside purple and pink. Well, they, the landlord probably is not going to let them do that. However, if you own your own house, you can do pink polka dots all over the house if you wanted to. It's not going to matter because it's yours. Uh, so that's the asset that you control. Now, another reason is that you want to have your own website is that for a lot of these platforms, it's against their terms of service to be commercially oriented they really don't like commercial sites you know if you're getting on there just to talk about your puppies and pets and kids and have no aspirations to do anything beyond that then you're probably fine if you don't want to make any money with your site at all in any way shape or form then you're probably fine however if you cross that threshold and you start thinking that wow maybe I can make money maybe I can put Google Adsense on here or maybe I can do some affiliate marketing or maybe I can sell my own t-shirts or whatever the moment you cross that line you're going to be breaking the terms of service of a lot of these sites and you don't want to wake up and see this dreaded image <laughs> uh, that a lot of people see if they're using WordPress uh, and other platforms WordPress.com I should say uh, versus dot org but wordpress.com another platform similar to that is that uh, this blog has been archived or suspended for violations of our terms of service and and uh, and you see how they try to advertise to have you create your own site after seeing somebody else's get shut down I think that's kind of ironic uh, so you don't want to wake up and see that uh, and have your business based upon one of these platforms and then wake up the next day and it's all gone so you don't want to have that happen to you and so all of these things are just different facets of the basic element of control. And, you know, once you get into the realm of commercial, you want to have control over what happens on your site. You want to have control about where it's hosted. You want to have control about what you can do with it. Because without that control, uh, you're going to be limiting your business in ways that you might not even recognize now. So keeping that in mind, What's stopping you from getting your own site? Now, I've heard a lot of different reasons for people say that they have stuck to a free site or if they haven't gotten a website at all. Um, you know, for people who are on free sites, you know, they might be very vested into the effort and energy they went to building up that site. And I completely understand that. However, you can transfer a lot of that information on over. You can transfer your posts right from uh, one of the free blog sites directly into your own blogging site. Um, it's very easy to do that. And as far as telling your visitors and things of that nature, you can very easily put up uh, image and say, hey, you know, check me out on my own website. So it's not diff 
difficult to get people to say come over to where you're putting new information or transfer your information from your free site over to your own website. Uh, well, some people don't have the time. Now, this is a common one that I hear that, hey, I don't have the time to put up a site. I don't have the time to learn all this stuff. And that's fine. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this video was to let you know that we have a service where we will actually put up your site for you. And we're not going to charge you any money to put up the site. And, uh, and we'll go into that detail here in a second. The next thing, what if you don't have any money? Well, again, we're not going to charge you for the website at all, but you do have to pay for a domain name. You do have to get your own hosting. And hosting costs anywhere between $6 and $10 a month. And a domain name costs approximately $10 a year. And so most people have that kind of money. Uh, so this is not world-breaking stuff. You know, one trip to McDonald's less a month will pay for your hosting. Um, and your domain name on a yearly basis is 10 bucks. So, it, you know, it's one of those things, if you're really serious about getting into business, if 6 to $10 a month is prohibitive for you, uh, there might be some other things you need to do first. Um, so it doesn't cost much to get started. And the other big thing that I hear from people is that they don't have the technical skills. Again, you don't, you don't have to worry about technical skills. We'll do that part for you, and then we'll train you how to use the site. Because uh, uh, once you get it installed with all the bells and whistles and things that we're going to do to the site for you, um, it doesn't take much to put up information or write a blog post or, or what have you. So the technical skills aren't needed. You just need to have the will to, uh, to get going. So... If this is interesting for you and you want to see a little bit more information about the type of site we're going to put together for you, uh, go ahead and visit us at onlinemarketingdojo.com forward slash get a free website just as you see here on the screen. There's also going to be a link below this uh, video somewhere on the page. If you're on YouTube, it's going to be right beneath in the description box. If you're on Facebook, there's going to be a link to it right beneath the video there. So go ahead and click on that sign up so you can get the other free videos that go along with this one here. Um, so you can see how you can go ahead and get started in 2011 and having your very own website. So that is it for now. Hope you found this uh, informative and hopefully you're also making a decision that, you know what, it's time for you to get serious uh, about your internet business and get your own website. Uh, so this is what I would like you to do uh, other than visiting us and, uh, and getting signed up uh, for the free website. So if you're on YouTube, Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. There's going to be a lot more videos coming out and a lot of free information that we're going to give away. So hopefully if this was useful that you want to get more information. Uh, favorite the video as well. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. If you're watching on Facebook, like the video and like our Facebook page. Uh, we will definitely appreciate that. Help us spread the word a little bit. And also, no matter where you're watching it, whether YouTube, Facebook, or on the blog itself, on our online marketing dojo blog, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know uh, if there's information that we needed to add to it. Let us know whatever information that you're looking for. All that good stuff. So again, this is Fred, OnlineMarketingDojo.com. Uh, look out for more good informative videos from us uh, pretty soon here. Thanks again.